Greetings to Solar Strikers is our name. To be smarter and successful is our aim. We are smart, inclusive, kind, and efficient. It's one of the reasons why we're so proficient. Respect is given equally to each member, and we work hard all year, even past December. Over here, all ideas are encouraged and accepted, so our success and joy are to be expected. When Team 11210 unites, our innovation will be a spectacular sight. Yay! Hello. I am Xiaovin, the Techno Director of FLL Team 11210, the Solar Strikers. Today, I'll be showing you how you can use the color sensor to align your robot against a strip of white or black. So this way, you can have your robot aligned straight against that strip in case you'd want to do that rather than line follow. Now, first, we'll need two motor blocks and we're going to set them to on large motor blocks just set them to on and those are going to be your drive motors so for us that would be ports B and C next we're going to reduce the power so that the color sensor is more accurate let's say about 25 then we're going to add two weight blocks and these are each going to be set to the color sensor and we're going to set it to detect reflected light intensity. Now we're going to set the compare type to 5, which will allow us to detect our color. And we're going to set it to 9. 9 is for black in our case. However, based on your board or your robot, things may change. For us, our color sensors are set to port 3 and 1. So this would be our left, and this would be our right. And then, to finish it off, we're going to add two large motor blocks and turn them off. And once again, set them to the same motors that we set up over here. So this will allow you to control each motor individually, and each motor will stop as soon as it sees the correct color. That way, you can make sure that your robot is straight against that line. Now, we can turn this into a My Block. So, to do that, we will be going into Tools, My Block Builder, and setting up some parameters. So, we'll need six parameters since we need to double up on each motor. Now, we can set this to Color Alignment. And we're going to set it up so that each of our color sensors has an icon to make it easier to remember. Now, our first two are going to be our motor power. If you would like, you can modify the parameter setup as well. However, that does not need to be done in detail here. Next, we're going to set up the icons for our operator values or our compare type. And then lastly, we're going to have our threshold values for each color sensor respectively. So if you look here, we can set those up. And that's all we need to do for that. Once we do that, then we'll have this and we just plug it into each part that we need. So that will be our B power, this will be our C power, and each of these will be for each of our color sensors. And that's all we need to do for those. And now our my block is ready. So that is very easy. You will be seeing a demonstration up on the screen. Next, we can also do something different. We also can do it so that if you only require one color sensor, you can make it so that your robot is slightly offset while still being straight. So let's say you have your robot in the set direction you want, but you want it to move a bit to the right, but you still want it to be in the same direction as before. Well, we can do that. So to do that, what we will need to start out with is a motor reset block. Now we're going to reset the motor rotation value for either B or C. 
you can choose which of your drive motors. So if your drive motor is A, for example, you will put A in there. Either of your drive motors will work. Next, based on which direction you want to turn, you will need to use a block with that particular port. So we want to turn B on in this case if we're turning right. And we're going to turn forward with B. And that means that we'll need to use our weight block and set it to our color sensor, reflected light intensity, compare type 5, and we want this, let's say, to um, 9 because we want it to look for a black line. Next, after that, we'll have a motor B stop block. So this will just make motor B turn until it sees black, then stop. Next, after that, we're going to use a motor rotation block and we're going to set it to measure the degrees. And then we're going to take motor C and we set that up here and we're going to set it up so that motor B's value equals motor C's. That way when motor B turns, sees the color, then it'll stop. Then motor C will turn after motor B stops to the exact same degree value as B so that both end up in the exact same parallel direction, however just slightly offset to the direction you want. So if you're turning light, you'll want these three to be B, and this one as well, and then you want this one to be C. But if you're turning left, then you might want these three to be um, C, and this one to be B. So that's how you can use the color sensor for that. Now we can highlight all of this and turn this into a my block as well. So we're going to go into my block builder and choose, let's call this color aligned turn. And now we're going to need four parameters for this. So one for B power, one for the compare type, one for the threshold value and one for C power. And then, oh, hang on, almost forgot about this. This should be set to degrees, and this should be plugged into there. And now let's get back to our my block. Oh. And there. Now color aligned turn. And now we'll set it up for parameters. We're going to have, let's say, a color sensor symbol. And we're going to set it up. We don't need the parameter set up right away, once again. If you'd like, you can change it however you like that part. However, this tutorial will not cover it. And we're going to set it up. So we have our icons visible, our motor B power. This will be our operator or our compare type. And this will be our threshold value. And lastly, this will be motor C power. And then now we can finish this up. And now all we need is to plug these in. So motor B, this goes in there, this goes in there, and this will be going in here. And now we can set all of those operators. And now you can edit it in this my block. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can also make it so that you can directly change which direction the turn is from the my block, rather than having to make two separate my blocks for each kind of turn this way. So for that, rather than changing the ports individually, we're just going to make them all wired. We don't need to change the color sensor as that stays constant. These are the only ports that matter for the turn that we're making right now. So, after that, what we're going to do is add in four variable blocks. And each of these variable blocks 
will be set to read and write numeric. So we're going to have one write, one read, one write, one read, and all of them will be numeric. Now we're going to add variable names to this. So the first one will be our driving motor. This is the motor that corresponds to the first four blocks that have been wired. These all have to be the same motor. And the last block will be our responding motor. So the driving motor drives first, sees the color, then stops. And then the responding motor takes the driving motor's degree measurements and applies it to itself. Now that we have all of those set up, we're going to plug our driving motor into here. And there. Oh. And last connection for that. And then we're going to plug in our responding motor into here. There, now that that's done, we can go back to creating our my block. So, tools, my block builder. And we'll set it up. So, the first two parameters will be our um, driving and responding motor ports. And then the next four will be the same as I just showed before. So, let's start off with these. We're looking for the port icon. And once again, you can set up your parameters in the parameter setup. If you'd like to, you can label them, name them, all that kind of stuff. However, I'm not going to do that currently. So those are going to be our power, compare type, and threshold. And lastly, our C power, or well, your responding motor power. Okay, and then we're gonna call this color line turn. And now we can just quickly plug this in. So our ports will go to the driving motor right variable and the responding motor right variable based on which one you set to those. Then we're going to have our power, like it was before, our compare type, like it was before, and repeat with the other two. This one goes there, and the last value will be going right over there. So for that, let's zoom out, and we can fit this in. There. Now that that's done, this will allow us to go into our my block directly, and now we can set our ports up. Now, when you have your ports wired like this, your ports will be set to one, two, three, or four, not A, B, C, D, even for motors. So, in our case, A would be one, and then D would be all the way down at four. So that's how it would work. So in our case, we would have B and C. So our driving motor in this case would be B, so 2, and our responding motor is 3. Then we would have our power set up, so we could have 25. Our threshold would be 5, 9 for the color sensor value, and 25 over here. And that's all you need to do to just add in this. And then if you wanted to switch it around, then you could just do 3 and 2, and now three would become the driving motor or pretty much C and now C would be getting all of these values and then B would react to it. So it would turn in the opposite direction just by doing so. And that's all there is to it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and visit our website link in the description below.